Hi, Dr. Fry here with a model of a fibula, which is the lateral bone in the leg. It's gonna be located below the knee. And along with the tibia, it helps to form the ankle joint, but it does not articulate with the femur, okay? So it is lined with the tibia roughly like so, okay? Allowing for the tibia to receive the weight from the femur but the fibula does help to form the ankle joint. So to examine the fibula in a little bit more detail, the fibula, it has a few features that are noticeable, but it is one of the more tougher bones to determine left and right. Um, the first thing that we wanna be able to do is notice that at the distal end, there is a more prominent fossa, okay? So if you look at the, the two ends of the fibula, one end has a facet that is kind of smooth. Okay, you can, you can see that a little bit right here. The other end has a more pronounced depression. You can see that here. And, and I think it helps to physically touch it to be able to see there is a more pronounced depression okay that is called the malleolar fossa okay that fossa there that depression is the malleolar fossa and it will be at the distal end of the femur or of the fibula excuse me so that means that the other end is the proximal end okay so distal has that fossa more noticeable fossa okay the proximal end is gonna be closer to the knee it has that smoother facet, which you can see a little bit there in that, in that section, okay? So the head of the fibula is proximal. It terminates in the apex, okay? This is the apex. This is the head of the fibula. I, of course, got the shaft, or the diaphysis of the fibula here. And then the malleolar fossa is the only term we've talked about so far on the distal end but we can also name this projection, okay? It is the lateral malleolus, okay? The lateral malleolus, along with the medial malleolus on the tibia, help to sandwich the tarsal bones. The, tar uh, the ankle joint is formed by the fibula, the tibia, and the talus, which is one of our tarsal bones. Okay, it's gonna sit right in between here and be flanked by the medial malleolus on the tibia and the lateral malleolus on the fibula, okay? So then from that information, we can discern that we know that this is distal. We know that we need to have that medial uh, notch, okay? That, that malleolar fossa needs to face medially, okay? And it also, if you look closely, is located more on the posterior of the fibula, okay? It helps to face uh, the talus, okay? It helps to sandwich the talus. And so it is medially and located and on the posterior of the fibula, okay? So that from that information, we know anterior, posterior, medial, and lateral. Okay, and so therefore we can determine left and right. Okay, so this is a right fibula. And if we had had it on the left, say we were looking at it, we know it's the lateral bone of our leg. Um, and we know that this is the distal end. We know that the malleolar fossa has to face medially. But if it does so, you'll notice that it would be on the, now it would be facing the, the anterior side of the body, okay? If it were on the left, that fossa is more on the anterior, but that is not how it is, It is, okay? It's on the posterior. So if we have that fossa on the medial posterior portion, okay, then we know we have the right fibula. You can also come up here to the head and again, examine that facet you can see here on the head of the fibula, it faces superiorly, 
medially and a little anteriorly as well. So you can use that as a double check okay, if you feel that. Um, then you can, you can as long as those are that facet is pointing a little bit anteriorly, medially, superiorly, you know you've got a right fibula. It is one of the harder ones to tell. Okay. But using those features, we should be able to determine that this is the right fibula.